How can we be certain that the world we're living in is genuine reality and not some massive computer simulation like the Matrix? This question goes beyond mere imagination. It's a deep and persistent inquiry that philosophers, scientists, and even AI researchers explore seriously. How can we be so sure that the world right in front of us is, in fact, real? In The Matrix, characters connect to an entirely different virtual world by attaching special devices to their heads. Once inside, they see, hear, feel, and interact with everything as if it were real. If we were actually trapped in a simulation like this, how would we distinguish fake from real? Could we even realize it? The truth is, all our sensory experiences don't exist independently. They're the result of the brain interpreting electrical signals. Imagine being cut with a knife. The pain you feel isn't just because you've been cut, but because signals have traveled through your nervous system and your brain has translated those signals as pain. Now what if you were under anesthesia? The signals wouldn't reach the brain and you wouldn't feel pain even with the same injury. Now let's take it further. What if there's no injury at all, but we still send the brain identical pain signals? The brain would interpret those signals as genuine pain, making us feel real agony despite there being no physical harm. So, the idea that we could experience reality purely through electrical signals opens the door to the possibility that a simulation could feel very real. The phantom limb phenomenon is a compelling real-world example of how perception can exist without physical reality. When someone loses a limb, they may still feel as though that missing limb is there, sometimes even experiencing pain. The brain, accustomed to the presence of that limb, can recreate the sensation, generating its own electrical signals that lead to a fully convincing sense of touch, pressure or pain in a limb that no longer exists. Similarly, Artificial neural networks, ANNs, are AI systems designed to mimic the way human brains process information. ANs use interconnected nodes, like neurons, to interpret patterns, make decisions, and generate outcomes based on input data. Models such as large language models, LLMs, work in the same way. They absorb vast amounts of data and, by detecting patterns, produce responses that appear intelligent. This is strikingly similar to how the human brain interprets sensory input and forms an understanding of the world. Phantom limb and neural networks both illustrate the brain's ability to reconstruct or simulate experience based on signals alone. This suggests that, theoretically, if placed in a simulated environment, we could experience things as if they were entirely real. Every sensation, seeing, tasting, moving, is really just the brain's interpretation of incoming signals. These signals reconstruct the outside world in a way that feels solid and true to us. Now, if the brain can interpret signals to create real sensations in cases like phantom limb, where a physical part is missing, doesn't this hint at the possibility that our entire reality could be replicated as a series of signals in a simulated environment? So, are we currently inside a simulation? Philosopher Nick Bostrom's simulation hypothesis argues that a highly advanced civilization could, in theory, replicate the experiences of past civilizations through computer simulations. If computing power becomes advanced enough, simulating the entirety of human existence with all its sensations and experiences could be possible, and we could be one of these simulations. Yet, even if this is possible, it doesn't prove that we are currently in a simulation. There's no scientific test to verify whether our reality is real or simulated, and many scientists agree that confirming this through experiments remains nearly impossible. This is why the question leans more towards philosophical speculation and, ultimately, personal belief. In the end, the question of whether our world is a simulation or not comes down to a matter of belief. Just because something is possible doesn't mean it's true. For now, the experiences we see, feel and interpret as reality are what we have to go on. 
Whether or not this world is real, we're left to accept it as reality and live accordingly.